Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been looking forward to flying rockets on the new Quest 24mm motors. I just received this email from buyrocketmotors.com saying they're in stock now. In this video, we'll get to test the new Quest E26 rocket motor. These composite fuel rocket motors have some interesting characteristics when compared to the black powder rocket motors from Estes. The new Quest motors are lighter in weight and have comparable total impulse ratings, but they don't burn for as long of a duration as the Estes black powder counterparts. I purchased the D22 and E26 motors with both 4 second and 7 second delays. It's time for the Southern Arizona Rocketry Association June launch. As hot as these rocket motors are, Tucson, Arizona is also bringing the heat. Let's fly this 56 millimeter action camera rocket. It's a bit on the heavy side with a 3D printed fin can and nose cone for this GoPro style camera. Thrustcurve.org is a great resource for rocketry enthusiasts. I put in the diameter and weight of the action camera rocket, 240 grams, fill in the motor mount diameter and length, make sure the guide length is correct, hit submit, and we get a list of rocket motors that will work for our rocket. They don't have these new Quest motors in the database yet, but there is this Aerotech E26 motor that has a similar impulse rating. Let's compare the thrust curves between the two. I can expect the action camera rocket to fly over 200 meters. Here we go. These new Quest 24mm motors use the white lightning propellant which produces a white exhaust trail that helps you track the rocket. Let's slow the video of the flight by half to get a chance to take it all in. This is my first flight using these motors, so I err on the side of caution with the ejection delay. I went with the 4 second delay. You can see it cuts the coasting phase of the flight a bit short. It's cool how this action camera rocket settles into this slow rotating descent. It helps to make sure we get a good visual tour of the surrounding desert and an occasional photobomb by the booster and parachute. The action camera rocket recovers successfully. Let's look at the stats on our Jolly Logic altimeter. We got up to 206 meters or 675 feet. The top speed was 255 kilometers per hour or 158 miles per hour for the Imperial fans in the audience. Now let's check out some still photos from the video. This is Apogee. The booster photobombs at Apogee. Here is the parachute and the Sarah family photo. This is the Tucson Mountains. Here is some more parachute. This is the chute wadding. A booster photobomb. Our neighbors at Timpa. The Sarah family photo. 
I spied my own shadow. Hey, we made it. To conclude, these new Quest 24mm rocket motors have some distinctive characteristics that will deliver different performance than their black powder counterparts. They give you interesting options for your lighter 24mm mid-power flyers. Stay tuned for the test flight of this new Quest D22 motor. But before you go on to the next video, please check the links in the description down below. Like and comment on this video. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you very much.